Good morning folks, Thursday morning, bit of a setback immediately, just had, uh, not HMRC but AWRS on the phone concerning the Alcohol Wholesalers Registration Scheme application. They want to come out next week and uh, go through all the red tape and the bollocks that they have to go through, but they're telling me that uh, they've done a check and HMRC have no record of a brewery license application. It's been in for 60 days, they've lost the fucker. They've lost it, I know they have. So he's going to see if he can pull the through strings and get it uh, done for next week and we sort of uh, stone multiple birds at the same time. But I don't hold out too much confidence. Seems like a nice enough chap. They're there to help you as well as uh, make you do things. Not that kind of thing. Uh, but hopefully he'll come out next week and we'll be able to get this going again. I wondered why it had taken so long for HMRC to get back to us. So all the application, the plan, everything else. It's a good job I photocopied it, isn't it? I'm going to have to resubmit. They do want to see cash flow forecast, business plan, letters of intent, profit and loss forecast, all this bollocks. And I've just told him like... Well, I'm going to be selling to my pub. What kind of letter of intent do I need? I own both businesses. I'm going to write a letter to myself. And he basically said yes. So you can see uh, the hoops that they make you jump through. I just hope he's brought lots of doggy poo bags because I feel like I'm a performing bloody animal at Crufts or something. So I'm going to grab chances in the back there um, and we're going to get in the car and drive down to work, hopefully. He doesn't call me when I'm on the road. See if we can nip down there sharpish. Just had the phone call on the way in. I knew he'd call when I was driving, so I pulled up, took a message off him. It turns out that, yes, HMRC have lost the application. I fucking, I just sort of knew it. I sort of knew it. But he's coming out next week with an alcohol guy, somebody from HMRC. So the two of them are gonna come and pay me a visit on Wednesday. And we're going to talk about the ARAS application, which is the Alcohol Wholesalers Registration Scheme. And we're just going to go over a few of the finer details of the brewery licence. Again, all formalities, red tape. I've done this before. It ain't my first rodeo. I know what the crack is. And I'm kind of glad that we've got a lot of the unit uh, prepared. So we'll be able to give him a real insight as to what the brewery is going to look like and uh, how we're going to produce beer basically giving them confidence that uh, it ain't a massive setup they've got nothing to worry about in terms of us selling thousands of gallons of beer and not paying duty on it because we can't produce thousands of gallons of beer uh, but yeah for small producers like me all this red tape is really quite a headache because it takes time out of your day you become an unpaid tax collector for Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs and all of this is done with no recompense to me so basically they're getting free labour out of you uh, but c'est la vie, this is the industry that we're in so you have to take the rough with the smooth and we do it for the passion of the product don't we it's something that you either want to do or you don't nobody's forcing my hand here so this morning yeah I could really deal with a coffee so I'm going to set up the tap system in the corner there and put the hose reel connections on the wall and we'll finally get that little bit plumbed in. Pulled the sink away, Stu's painted behind there, he's done a good job. Uh, I sold, you saw me solder up some pipe work. It needs to rotate, doesn't it, look? You see that, it needs to rotate. So I had to put a John Guest fitting in there anyway. But a free, free bit of soldering, bit of soldering. No charge for that, guys. But it's gone in the scrap bin. So yeah, Stu's just gonna finish painting this section up. 
and we'll push the sink back in, paint that bit there, and then I'm gonna move all these doors in front of that. Just been passing a bit of time until half past three. It's approaching three o'clock now. So I'm gonna do the school run, but I've just been zipping off and flattening the edge of this lid. Uh, Norfolk Hillbilly, Clive came up with a cracking idea. I don't know why I didn't think of it personally, but he's sparked my interest with it. For the lids, if I laminate the stainless steel lid to the bottom of a piece of plywood that's cut to shape also, then that will allow me to have the rigidity to clamp the lid down all the way across because of the ply. How I'm going to stick the stainless steel to the ply is another question, but I want to basically get the top of these nice and flat and level, as nice as I can get them anyway, before I pickle them, because obviously when I've done the pickling, on like on the other tank, I don't want to be back in there with a grinder or anything, because the pickling will actually uh, help with any grinding lines or something like that. It'll just slightly etch it. It won't polish it, but it just takes, you know, it dulls the finish a little bit for you. It's a, it's a good bit of kit. Yeah, so anyway, I'm looking at the clock above you, and Jez is telling me it's about time I wrapped up in here. Look at the sunshine beaming through these windows. So whilst I go and fetch the kids, after I've done that, I'm gonna shoot across to Workshop again, to a tool station, our favorite store, and I'm gonna pick up some blackjack and bitumen paint. And I'll be going up onto the roof here, just above my fingeros, there, to look in the viewfinder, and I'm gonna pour the bitumen into the cracks on that box gutter and it's bitumen sealed gutter anyway so it shouldn't be an issue and because it's been so hot for the past two days it's 26 today 26 degrees science so because it's so hot it's bone dry up there so all I have to do is just leave the tin in the sunshine 10 minutes to warm up and then get pouring fingers crossed that will then rectify the leaks that we've got on this side of the building seen as I've done most of the leaks on that side of the building internally. Right, we are back. I'm just gonna get changed back into the scrubs again. And then I'm gonna shoot up on that roof while the weather is deliciously hot. And we're gonna pour some blackjack. And them there oils. So spare my blushes a moment, folks while I just uh, get in and out of the birthday suit. I'll not be long. Just like that. Right, let's get the camera rigged up and we're off out. Well, that's the first application made. Let's hope it holds out. Dutch courage required for that one, folks. I've come in though, and I've noticed I've made a balls up. So there's the leaky patch in front of that window. I've actually gone and done over there. <laughs> but I think it was leaking a little bit anyway, so I can always go back up in a couple of weeks. Look, it looks like it was leaking there. So I can put another batch up tomorrow maybe if it's good enough. So I did that one and I think I did that one. But literally, it's that big. I could probably do with 30 litres of this stuff because it swallowed five litres up, no bother. Right, I've changed again. Jemski's on the way. It's time to go home. Beautiful sunshines are calling. See you tomorrow.